This is part 137 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to check if a grid is null or empty. First, let's discuss how to check if a grid is null. Checking if a grid is null is straightforward. All we have to do is use isNull keywords. Let's look at an example. Let's declare a variable here. Let's call it my grid. So this is going to be of type unique identifier. So to check if this my grid variable is null, all we have to do is use is null keywords like this. If my grid is null, then let's simply print a message saying grid is null. If it is not null, then let's simply print grid is not null. Now since we have not initialized this variable anywhere, it's just declared it's going to be null. So it's going to print this message grid is null. So let's execute this code. Notice we get grid is null. Now let's initialize my grid with a new grid by using new ID function. Since now this variable is initialized with another grid value, it's not null. So when we execute this, we get grid is not null. So to check if a grid is null, we use is null keywords. And here is the example that we just looked at. Let's look at another example. So here is what we want to do. If a grid variable is null, then we want to initialize that grid variable with a new grid value. If it's not null, then we want to use the existing value it has got. So here we've got a grid variable. Let's comment this set statement. Since we are not initializing this grid variable to anything, it's always going to be null. So it's going to come inside this if block. And in here, let's initialize that grid variable with a new grid value. And then finally select whatever we have got in that grid variable. So every time we execute this, we're going to get a different grid. That's because this grid variable is null, so it's always going to come inside this if block, and in here, we are setting that grid variable to a new grid value, and that's what we are selecting. On the other hand, if this grid variable has got a value, if it is not null, then we always want to use that existing value. So let's copy this grid value that we have and set it to that. So in this case, it's not null, so it's never going to come inside this if block. So every time we execute this query, we're going to get the same grid. And to achieve this, look at the amount of code we have to write. We can achieve exactly the same thing by using isNull function. The benefit of using isNull function is that the amount of code that we have to write will be reduced. Let's look at that in action now. For now, let's comment the set statement. And instead of all these lines, we can simply use isNull function. So if you want to check if this variable is null, if it is null, then we want to return a new grid. So every time we execute this, we get a different grid because this grid variable is null. So it's going to return a new grid value. On the other hand, if it is not null, then this isNull function is going to return whatever value we have in this variable. So now, every time we execute this, we're going to get the same grid value. And look at the amount of code that we have to write to achieve this. Here are those two examples. Now, let's discuss how to check if a grid is empty. Before that, let's understand what's an empty grid. An empty grid is a grid with all zeros as you can see here. The obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is, to create an empty grid, do we have to type all these zeros and hyphens manually? If that's the case, it's bad for two reasons. It's tedious and error prone. In SQL Server, we can use a query to create an empty grid. So what we can do is cast zero as binary. When we do this, we get binary data. And then we are going to use another cast operation. We are going to cast the binary data as unique identifier. So when we do this, we get an empty grid. Another way is again by using the cast method. So we are going to cast 
0x0 as unique identifier. Again, this is going to give us an empty grid. The benefit of using this second select query is that we only have one cast here. Here are those two queries to create an empty grid in SQL Server. To check if a grid variable has got empty grid value, there are two options. One option is to compare that grid variable with the empty grid value. Let's look at this in action. In this example, notice we are comparing this grid variable with the empty grid value. Since this variable is already initialized with empty grid value, this condition will always be true. So when we execute this, we get this message, grid is empty. Instead of comparing this variable with the empty grid value, we can also compare it with the return value of the cast method. When we cast 0x0 as unique identifier, we get empty grid and we are comparing that with the value that we have in this variable. So when we execute this, again we get the message grid is empty. If we initialize this grid variable with a new grid, so in this case it does not have empty grid, so when we execute this, notice we get the message grid is not empty. So there are two options to check if a grid is an empty grid. One option is to compare it with the empty grid value. The other option is to compare it with the return value of the cast method. Thank you for listening and have a great day.